welcome back in today's video we will see the proof of the trigonometric identities using the pythagoras theorem so let us quickly revise the trigonometric ratios which we have done in the previous videos the three ratios which we have done are sin theta cos theta and tan theta so if we have a right angle triangle this angle is theta then with respect to theta this becomes opposite adjacent and this is the hypotenuse and we know so ka to wa sin theta is opposite over hypotenuse cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse this is opposite or o adjacent or a or hypotenuse or h and tan theta tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent okay now all these three sides the adjacent the opposite and the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle are related to each other by pythagoras theorem so what does pythagoras theorem says pythagoras theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse let me write it small h and small a okay so this is small a adjacent and h sin theta is O over h, cos theta is a over h, and tan theta is over a. Now, the Pythagoras theorem we all know says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the opposite and adjacent. This is our Pythagoras theorem, and we will be using this theorem. to prove the trigonometric identities so before we begin there are total three trigonometric identities which we will be doing in today's video the two three identities are sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 then 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cos x square theta these are the three trigonometric identities which will we will try to derive today let us move ahead and try to prove our first trigonometric identity which is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 let us see how we do it so we have a right angle triangle this angle is theta this is at this our opposite adjacent and the hypotenuse okay according to pythagoras theorem h square is o square plus a square okay now if we divide both the sides by h square so we'll get h square over h square is equal to O square over h square plus a square over h square. Correct. This is one. This can be written as O over h whole square and a over h whole square and one square. So this can be written as sine square of theta plus cos square of theta is equal to one. So this is our first trigonometric identity for. the single angle theta now let us quickly move to the second trigonometric identity 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta we have to prove this okay now we know that h square is o square plus a square right angle triangle pythagoras theorem we will divide both the sides by o square or rather a square okay so you'll get h square over a square is equal to 
ओ स्क्वायर ओवर ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर ओवर ए स्क्वायर दिस गिव्स अस एच ओवर ए द होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ ओवर ए द होल स्क्वायर प्लस वन ओके नाउ व्हाट इज ओ ओवर ए वी नो दैट ओ ओवर ए इज नथिंग बट टेंजेंट ऑफ थीटा सो का तो आ ओ ओवर ए इज टेंजेंट थीटा and what is h over a h over a can be written as 1 upon the reciprocal a over h and a over h is nothing but 1 by cos theta and the reciprocal of cos theta is nothing but secant or sec theta correct so let us substitute those ratios in here so h over a can be written as sec theta whole square o over a is tan theta whole square plus 1 So from here we get one plus square of tan theta is equal to square of sec theta. This is our identity number two. We have done sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. One plus tan square theta is sec square theta, and the third identity is one plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. write down the pythagoras theorem and now instead of dividing by a square we'll divide both the sides by o square so we'll get o square over o square plus a square over o square this is h over o whole square is equal to 1 plus a over o whole square okay a over o is nothing but reciprocal of o over a which is reciprocal of tangent of theta and the reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta h over o can be written as reciprocal of o over h okay 1 upon sin of theta which is cosec theta so we'll get cosec theta whole square is equal to 1 plus cot theta whole square so it is cosec square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta this is our third identity correct okay so we have seen all the three trigonometric identities and we have proved them here one thing more which we need, you need to remember is that tangent of theta is nothing but opposite over adjacent now we divide the numerator by the hypotenuse and the denominator by the hypotenuse so o over h is nothing but sin of theta and a over h is cosin of theta so sin theta over cos theta is nothing but tangent of theta these are few things which you need to remember these are it's given that sin of theta is equal to 1 by 2 find cosine of theta now we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 if sin theta is 1 by 2 it can be written as 1 by 2 square plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so cos square theta will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square which is 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4 and here i have given a condition that theta lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees okay so if theta lies between 0 and 90 cos theta will be square root of 3 by 4 which is root 3 over 2 okay? so using the identities we can find the any trigonometric ratio if cos If you have any doubts, you can send me an email at kirti dot math academy at gmail dot com. And this is my YouTube channel, Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.